Brooks with I am therefore iPad.com and we're going to continue our series of the best Cydia apps for iPhone 4S. I just finished part one and part two, but I did neglect to show the icon for the XCon that I mentioned in part two. Uh, so there's the, the icon and the name. Uh, so you can find that in Cydia. So my next app that I want to talk about is called AppStat. Now, a lot of us use our apps all the time, or use our device all the time, but not really sure how often we use particular apps. So with AppStat, it allows you to keep track of that and actually be able to see how often you are using the apps. So I guess I could have been, could have prepared a little better and found this app before I started but let's just search for it if I can spell there you go so you see it has that icon and so it shows here that the most popular app of all time since using this for a few days is my mail program, my phone program. I'm being served ads and various different ad, uh, apps, messages. I go into settings quite a bit Safari, Pandora, my photos, Stitcher. I'm in City a lot. So you see, you can keep track and see how often you are using certain apps. Okay? So this is all apps and then recent apps I can see what I use recently. Okay. So pretty neat free app called AppStat. The next app that I want to share with you is called Fake Carrier. Very simple um, application. As you may have noticed up in the top left corner of my screen instead of instead of showing Sprint or whatever carrier that I have you see my last name Brooks so by using fake carrier I'm able to set that uh, to be whatever I want so fake carrier I would just simply change that reset it or set it and that's it not a whole lot of use once you set that uh, but a very simple app when you pick up your phone, you might have uh, a few people like me in the office where we have uh, iPhones. If you're not in a case or anything that distinguishes, you don't have back drops or um, background images or splash pictures on your lock screen, these phones can look the same. So I can clearly see this in my phone as soon as I pick it up. The next application is called five icon dock and just like the name implies it allows you to have five icons in the application dock instead of the four so you see at the bottom of the screen I have five icons very simple app nothing fancy about it uh, but since I'm talking about the dock a little tip here you know you can put folders in the dock as well so I like to keep my favorite apps there and a second set of favorite apps there so it's just quick access to your applications no matter what screen you are but again it gives you five icon dock gives you an extra icon uh, the ability to put an extra icon on that dock the next one's called multi icon mover this is definitely one of my favorite apps uh, say for instance I wanted to move apps around the screen normally if I wanted to get say remote HD moved to another screen I would have to ho uh, press and hold until it wiggles then I would have to try and drag it several screens over until I get to the screen that I want to put it if I want to do another one I just repeat that process well, with multi icon mover, and let me just show you the icon before I move on. 
so you can get the proper spelling of it. Um, there's no application that you see, no icon that you see, it just simply works. So how it works is, say I want to move my, let's get it out of the, the wacky mode for a second. All right. So say I want to move my weather application here, so I tap it, see that check mark? I can go find the next app I want to move, I want to get the dictate application, and I just put checks on it. I want, let's see, I can get it from any screen. Uh, let's see, I want to get app stats. And finally, let's see here, I read. Alright, so I want those on the main screen, so I just simply go back to the main screen. Come on. Okay, now I hit the home button, and all those icons that I asked are moved in one quick sweep. Hit the home button again, and it stops to wiggle. Okay, so that is a real quick way to move multiple icons, thus the name.